Det går han til. Ja, Neil Holmes. Ja. Hvor er I fra? Nordstad. Very up and down when I was younger. Yeah. My mom died, well, my dad died. He was no good though, he was a bad drinker. But my mum brought us, five of us up, six of us up, sorry. Yeah. And my mum and my grandma, it was. See, my grandma helped with the money. Because my dad used to take all the money and... Drinking? Yeah. Yeah, he was a bit of an arsehole. Mm. Got a lot of an arsehole. Yeah. He's gone though. So is my mum. They've all gone. But that's life. Mm. Everybody dies. Just not yet for me. It's not my time yet. <laughs> no. Many times soon. Mm. I hope not. No problems early at school. No problem. Uh, well, did a lot of truancy. That's the case you do, don't you, when you're young? Yeah. <laughs> a lot of damage. Yeah. No gold, we didn't have a lot of money, but we got by. Yeah. I've just, you know, like, made meals out of some nothing, really. Mm. Five, six people, six kids. A single mother? Yeah, and... <laughs> you're gonna love this one. Eighteen rabbits, four dogs, and three cats. We had as well. <laughs> In the house? Big. No, the, the rabbits was in the greenhouse up in the garden, like. But they were big black red rabbits, you know. Yeah. Sure, black. A different black. type of rabbit. They was meant to be for the table when my dad were living. Yeah. But my mother said, no. I cannot eat that. I cannot cook that and eat that because I've seen it alive. Okay. So yeah. I kept them. As a and pet. You know, you've heard the saying, breed like rabbits. <laughs> It's true. Because it Seriously, is. they breed. Yeah. They literally breed a lot. They breed a hell of a lot. Really. It's not just to say that people say like, yeah. No, they, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's true though. It is true. Believe me. <laughs> Believe me. We started off with a few, and we ended up with loads. <coughs> yeah. Now that my grandma had to pay for that one. Mm. She's the one who had some money. So. Old people save the money, don't they? Yeah, they do. They do. Yes. When she was young. That were in war time, you know, them years. Yeah. But she died. 92 year old she got to. 92? So she had a good innings. Yeah. Her husband died quite well, 60 old, 65 I think she was. Mm. Yeah, grandma, 92. 92. She had to bury my mother. My mother died before her. So it was her mother who buried her. She went in the grave before her, my grandma. It's always hard when your mother, oh, your mother had to bury you. It, it must have done real bad to her because like four, four and a half months later she died. She already had the grave. Yeah. So, but my mother went there first. So that shouldn't have been, should have been my grandma first. Your grandma first. And me, me uncle and then my mum. Yeah. But it, it didn't look like that. Wow. It was bad. That's that's bad. Yeah, it is bad. But so. 92? Uh, yeah, about, yeah. about 91, 92. Yeah. 92. Yeah. Yeah, so did you ever have work before? Yeah, I've had um, a couple of jobs. I used to work on the tarmac. Yeah. Did a lot of that, like seven, eight years of that. And the black stuff. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I enjoyed that. I've been a butcher. Butcher? Yeah, my yeah. other brother, yeah. the one oh, I told you about him, he used to win you know, the uh, park at the top of Drake Street, but the golf for said park. Yeah. He used to go in there drinking. And one day, this is a rat, went to the shop, but him got run over. Your brother got run over? Yeah. He lasted, you know, about two years, and then he passed away through this accident. It was like 39, 38, 39. But he had, uh, he went like back to a kid. And that's how he stayed until he died. He must have just had enough and just. In his brain? Went, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Because he was the butcher. He's the one who got me into it. Oh, he was the one that got you The one that got run out of He was the butcher. He got me doing it, he got yeah. my younger brother doing it. Oh. 
it was very good. Yeah. He was like the head of the family? No, 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 no. He was the third. The third? I'm the eldest. Oh, okay. And I have an older brother, he's mm. still living, and an older sister, and she's still living. My older sister is in Blackpool. She's retired, she retired at 50. Mm. But she, she did the other thing all the way. Ended up having her own business. Made enough money. She married, have you heard of David Anders, coal merchant? Yeah. Well, she married David Anders. The guy, he's called David Anders, but it was his father who started that. Yeah. And they moved to Blackpool. She retired at 50 and moved to Blackpool. I haven't seen her for a while. How's the relationship between the siblings? Uh, it's all good, good. Mm. Yeah, it's all pretty good, yeah. Do you yeah. speak to her? I haven't seen her for a few years. For a few years? I've got a sister who lives on Spotland Road. Yeah. A brother who lives in Belfield. And a brother who works in Haywood. So I don't see her much. I see the one from, from Belfield like every two weeks. Because I get a bottle off him on his payday. Yeah. And then I pay him back. On your payday. payday. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. yeah. And it turns out good sometimes. Yeah. Mm. When I'm doing this begging, I hate doing it. So let's I'm talk about begging. begging. How long have you been begging? Uh, about two years, I'd say. Mm. Yeah, not that long, really. How did you get to that stage you have to start begging? Needing money, food, needing food and stuff. Yeah. When I was young, you might get a toast in the morning and a cup of coffee or something. Mm. They used to do three meals a day at the Petra State Centre. Yeah. But now they only do like toast in the morning with a brew and that's it. That's Monday it. To Friday. They used to be seven days a week and you used to be able to get my, uh, breakfast, dinner and tea. Two pound a day it was. But they stopped all that. You know, because of the COVID. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they've opened back up again. They still don't let people in the Petrus Centre, the day centre. Yeah. But they give them toast and a brew in the morning. Mm. Probably a bacon toast or something, but by the time I get there, it's all the toast. Yeah. <laughs> by the time I get to the door, yeah. because the queue is that big. Is that long? Yeah. Maybe you had to wake up early. Yeah, well, no. It's, it's from a certain time. Certain time. But there was that many people were. Yeah. And they didn't didn't cater for enough. They didn't cater for enough for the, the amount of people what were going. You know what is sad, yeah? A country like Great Britain and people suffering from starvation. I know, I know. It's I can't comprehend that. No, I can't. I, I can't. Know. It's the it's the government, isn't it? The mm. Government, it's their fault. That's how I go. Yeah. Government and councils. Yeah. All, they're all the same thing. They're the same thing. Yeah. So, have you ever used drugs before? Yeah, quite a long time ago. Yeah. I used to be into the speed. Speed. How did you get into it? Just from a friend. Yeah? Just from a friend, yeah. I had it one day and I injected it. it was... You injected straight away? I did, for the first time, yeah. But then I sat it and I sat the injected. Yeah. Nah, not good for me. Either. Was you scared? Like, it's scared. I'd say it made me come in my pants. <laughs> That's what it does. Yeah. When you push the question. Yeah. When you have that. It's like having multiple orgasms all in one one. Oh, okay. I didn't enjoy the pin. You didn't enjoy the injection? Needle, not the yeah. needle? No. Nah, not, I'm not like good with them. They yeah. like on me. Yeah. Especially when I've been in hospital before and took the blood and I'm like, oh, you finished it. Yeah, same pain. Even though I did it myself. You've done it yourself? Once. Wow, you're brave. When, uh, with the speed and I didn't do it again because mm. I, I just didn't like doing it. How did you get what your mate give it to you? Did you ever ask, did you ever ask him like, did you ask him, do you want to try or? He asked me, yeah. Did he ask you or you asked him? No, he asked me. Mm. This is have a bit of this, so I did. And I had it in the injection. But like I said, the injection I didn't enjoy. Well mm. I did, but I didn't like seeing the pin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was a, a brilliant buzz, I tell you. Excellent buzz. 
Nah, I didn't carry on with it. No. Nah. Too good. <laughs> if I did it now, I'd probably get the same. Yeah. I wouldn't do it. Either. You wouldn't do it. Nah, well set, well set, nah. No. Not into, not my style. No. Nah, look like the thing. No, nah, it doesn't work, no. No. It does work, but... <laughs> That doesn't work when you see it, like you say. We need a way. Yeah. So what other drug have you ever tried? Uh, just cannabis. Cannabis? Yeah. yeah. And speed, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. all right. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, a bit of coke. A bit of coke? Yeah. How old are you now? 53. 53? Yeah. I bet you didn't, you wouldn't have said that, would you? No. <laughs> <I'm glad. laughs> Yeah, I am 53. You're 53? Well, how old would you say I was? I thought, I thought you was on your, like, 45. Ah, yeah, I thought you was 45. Eight years, eight years off me life. Go on, man. <laughs> eight more years off me life. <laughs> yeah. 45. <laughs> no, seriously. Uh, so, have you been, wait, have you got a house? No. So, you're homeless? So how long have you been homeless? Mm. Three and a half, nearly four years. Three and a half years. I'm on the waiting list for a flat book. How long is that? How long I'm is still it? Still waiting. How long's a piece of string? <laughs> Very long. Still waiting. Yeah. yeah. I'm hoping to get in this uh, hospital one. It, Just had you come up from where we we met in? Yeah. Time? And you come up, it's called Howard House. Yeah, yeah. And I might be getting in that in a few years. That's all right. It won't be over the weekend, obviously, but sometime next week I might be in there. So where are you staying on? Either and ever. Mostly I go to Onkies, believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah. He lets me in. Uh, Sleeping. He even gives me cushions and blankets. That's, that's nice of him. Yeah. Because there's friend, a there's a lot to live with him. yeah a long time there's a lot of people there they don't have them friends and they sleep outside yeah. you know yeah. so when you got a good friend you have to appreciate that yeah. Yeah. that's that's good he's got he's got someone living with him at the minute yeah so have you been what do you drink. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> mm. ah. Nice. Man. Yeah. What age did you start drinking? Um, about fourteen, I'd say. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah. Yes, man. Yeah. If I don't have one of them, I'll start. Shaking. Yeah. So, take me back. When? Why do? You, why do you think you drink? Mm, enjoy it. Yeah. Makes me happy. <laughs> Makes me chat a lot. Mm. Normally, I'm really quiet. I'm not a good conversationist. Yeah. I just listen. I'm a good listener. <laughs> You're a good listener? Yeah. Sometimes it's good. It saves me talking, doesn't it? It saves me wasting <laughs> energy. <laughs> That's how I see that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good answer that. <laughs> so you've been drinking since you was 14? 13, 14, yeah. Did your parents notice when you was dr when you oh, was drinking? They were drinkers as well, so probably it's gone through the bloodline. So they, your parent was parents both the both of them alcoholic, they, not alcoholic, but they drunk every day. Drunk every day, and they drunk they used to make their own brew. Moonshine. That was strong, believe me. Yeah. Oh my God! A couple of pints of that, and you're not walking. With me, me down to home, but it was powerful, man. Oh, that's me and my younger brother. Yeah. You know, the siphon pipe thing, I got, we used to put that in the barrel when the, me mum and dad were in the pub at night. And drink it out of the bin. 
after I come back and we pushed the rats. <laughs> we're meant to be in bed asleep, but yeah. we're downstairs drunk. <laughs> and then it's my older sister, what we're meant to be babysitting for us. Yeah. She's out drunk as well. <laughs> but my parents are now drunk as well, so. Yeah. They can't really come mad at us. Mm. It's their own fault, it's their fault. Leave me 40 pints. 40 <laughs> pints? <laughs> 40 pints and bitter. And the, if you have one pint of it, you, you feel like you've had about six pints. It was potent, very potent. It was pretty good. <laughs> Done it yesterday. Yeah. Oh my god. You know, Sheldridge, Sheldridge shop yeah. off license. I went in there yesterday. I had one pound fifty, and I was looking at it, and he said, Oh, forget them cans. I've just got these new ones in. What are they? Name a lager. Name a Stella Artois, that's what they were. 10.5%. One pound fifty, and I had one pound fifty. Wow, they are strong. Ten and a half percent. I normally drink seven, eight, nine. I've not I've never seen a ten and a half percent of wow. and Mr. C's got them. They're all right. They're all right. I didn't get drunk off it, I had one yesterday. Mm. Didn't touch the sides. Didn't Touch me, you didn't do nothing. Nothing. But it's meant to be 10.5%. Wow. I could have done with a few more of them. <laughs> but I didn't have good old today. I said, I mean, I'm a little bit quid and half. Yeah. See that? Can't even do that. You know, hold that in between them things. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't hold it? No. That hand's dead. What happened to her? I had a stroke. Not long ago. Mm. Yeah, I didn't know I had it. I, I thought I had a trapped nerve in my neck. But it was pain in my chest and it went right round my neck. But I just thought it was a trapped nerve. And I went to the hospital. Straight away took me in. Heart attack I had. Heart attack? It's the little one. The doctor said the next one will be worse. And I thought, oh, that's nice, thank you. You just gone in the hospital and the doctor tells you the next one's going to be worse than this one. That frightened the hell out of me, I told him. It scared me to death. So they kept me in for like four days mm. on the heart ward. Every half an hour, checking it. Ah, uh, scary. So you're paralysed from the hand? Yeah, that hand is, yeah. yeah. I can come? just do that, that's it. Just that with your thumb. Because earlier you had a problem with a cigarette, you nearly burn yourself. Yeah, yeah. Because I can still feel, you know, I've the thing's still there, but there's no... I have to move these fingers. To no nerve? Nothing. That's, what it, that's what's happened, I think. One of the nerves had died mm. when I had the stroke. And that's what's happened. I can't use that left hand. Did they tell you what caused it? Caused the stroke? Mm. No. Well, they said cocaine, but how could that, that happen when I haven't had any? <laughs> but that's what they said. It's because, it took, because I said I've had it in the past. They said that's what that was. Okay. But I'd have to be a, a user, a daily user. A daily user, yeah. And I wasn't, that's so I couldn't. I couldn't get that really around me either. I thought, wow. I haven't had it for many years. Got me thinking though, have I had it any chance? But I hadn't. It, it, it scared the hell out of me. When he said the next one will be worse, I said, oh dear. My blood pressure went I said, they were kicking me every half hour. Mm. And I was on the heart ward. I didn't know it was a heart water two days, believe me. Wow. Good job, because it would have beat me down. It would have scared the hell out of me. That's scary. Yeah, that, that was very scary. Wow. When I found out, it did it just my blood pressure at night high and they were checking me every half hour. Because it scared the hell out of me, seriously. Found out on my heart water, I've just had a little heart attack. The next one will be worse. I thought I don't want the next one. <laughs> this one, this one, it, oh, it, I, I seriously, 100 million percent thought I'd trapped in a, 
انا ما ما انا كن ديوان في من ما يسوى ما هو اخمي ما سي فينجس تس ذا فينجس ذا يو كان ريف وان من اند ادس بيفور اي وينت تو اوسبيتال ليست اول ما ما انا كن ذا <laughs> You give him another saying that. Mm. <laughs> That's what he said to me. I can't believe it. Do you think alcohol had something to contribute with it? Mm, no, not really. I wouldn't. Uh, nah, yeah, could have really, could it? Because mm. I've been drinking quite a lot. Well, quite a long time. How many? Yeah, alcohol ha- could have something to do with yeah. it. Yeah, because had more than three decades. You've been drinking more than yeah, three decades. Yeah, yeah, not the hell. That's the only thing to think about it, you know. Yeah. Until someone like yourself mentions something like that. More than three decades. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything in my head. I don't, if I don't think about it, it doesn't worry me. Ah. So you blocked everything you don't want to think about? It. Yeah, of course I do. It's got to do. I just, I don't show my emotions in public to anyone. If I, if I, the only time I'd cry is when I'm on my own, mm. in my bedroom, when I have one. <laughs> Does that be you inside? Yeah, it mm. inside, tangles me inside to burn. Mm. <laughs> it's horrible. It's another thing I don't like, being like that. Mm. When I get thinking, or really think. I get a bit depressed sometimes, but... Get a beer, go and sit in the tunnel for a bit and then I'll get better. Because I see people we don't know and they're all cheery like you every time I see you. You got a big smile on your face. You have to smile like yeah, when I, I see I love smiling. Yeah, you, it, that's But what I've lost all my teeth. How did you lose them? Through yeah. the speed apparently. That's what but yeah. I used to have an excellent set of teeth. Like yours. Yeah. Mine was like <laughs> yours, honestly. Yeah. Brilliant set of teeth there. I lost them all. From speed? Gum disease. Gum disease? Yeah. And I think it, it can't, I don't think it could have been the speed because it's such a long time ago. Mm. But I did have, they said I had gum disease. Oh. It's all really you see. It makes your gums a hell of a lot harder. Mm. The only thing I can't do is eat an apple. You can't eat an apple? No. Nah. I get me no teeth, you can't. It's, oh, it's horrible, honestly. I used to nibble on my nails as well as a young one. Yeah. Can't do that. No, you can't do that. It's all gum. You're funny. That's life, man. <laughs> 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 Oh. So do you struggle with food? No, not really, no I don't. Do you, you, eat can, get, food? you can get food like, you can get on um, Monday, Wednesday and Fridays, you can go up to the high level, they give you a bag of food. Homeless bag or a normal bag if you've got somewhere to live. You always got the homeless bag and they give you things what, like sandwiches and stuff, what you can eat. Or you don't have to cook, mm. and that's three times a week. So that's where most of my food comes from. Three times a week. Mm-hmm. One of the bags it lasts me a week because I don't eat a lot. You don't eat a lot. Nah, very rare, very rarely. I eat, but I compensate for, with it with a drink. Mm. When I've had a load of drinks, I don't want to eat. This one. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so, how many, how many alcohol you consume every day, on the daily basis? Eight cans, I'd say. Eight cans. Eight cans. If I've got the funds, the money. Yeah. 
Ain't, ain't it, eh? I'm happy with that. Yeah. I don't get greedy. <laughs> what happens if you don't drink? I don't feel well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it just, you know, you feel horrible. Wow. Mm -hmm. Twitching. Like Start that. twitching. Yeah. Shaking, twitching. Sleepless nights. Oh, it's horrible. Mm. Horror, 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 Bad. <laughs> All we do is laugh. It's good to be laughing at you. It's good. It's good, you know, isn't it? It's, it's so good to laugh, you know. Of course it is. I'll raise my glass to that. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> do you think... Do you think alcohol is a problem? Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah, if I don't have it, that's when I don't I'll start shaking and it's bad withdrawal of alcohol. Have you ever tried to stop before? Mm no. Simple <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I can't At least you're honest. Properly. Yeah. Never really entered me head. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever thought about the damage that is causing you? Mm. Nah, I've been told how much damage it does and all that, but nah, it doesn't worry me. <laughs> Seriously, it doesn't worry me. Mm. You die, you die. Simple. Tighten your time, so you go, in it. No. I'm not scared of dying. No. But I don't want to die yet. When it's time to go, you go. And I'm going up there, I think. Yeah. It's told me. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not going to be the Golden Gates when I go. It's going to be like going in a pub. <laughs> I want to go to the bar. <laughs> Before you get in. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you think is going to happen? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hope that's the way. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I still don't want to go yet. <laughs> <laughs> not your time yet? No, yeah. No, not your time yet, no. Touch wood. <laughs> Touch wood. Touch wood. Have you got any kids? Hmm, I meant to have a girl, a little girl, you know, she'll be about 15 now, but I don't see her. Mm. Just a school girlfriend. Didn't know she was pregnant, she had a kid. It, it was a, she, my daughter who told me that mm. I was her dad. Yeah. Yeah, the only, I haven't had a blood test, so I'm not, not really 100%. She says it, she's mine, and she does look like my mother. Mm. And when my mum was young, my daughter, supposed daughter what I've got, does resemble my mother. Did, she, got, just, good did she just approach you on the street and tell you that yeah. you're her father? Yeah. I, well, I used to, when I used to live up uh, Lane, is it Lane? Ings Lane, sorry. Kings Lane. Ings. Ings Lane. I N D S. Yeah, I used to stay in a hostel up there. There was a hostel at the top. And I, I um, got booted out. Because <laughs> the member of staff said I touched her ass and I didn't. <laughs> I was giving her a hug, but she said I grabbed her ass. <laughs> oh, my, I don't know. <laughs> I was drunk. Yeah. He was drunk. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, you drink it when it's when yeah. off school, and so it was not too bad. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't grab her ass. I might have done it un unintentionally. Yeah. I would have done it intentionally, man. I would have well been. <laughs> I would have done more than grab it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I did. 
<laughs> so do you have a relationship with your daughter? No. 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 I haven't seen her for years. For years. Mm. Long time. But have you ever been to a rehab? No. I've enough of them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've always said I'd think about it. <laughs> and I haven't thought about it enough. <laughs> he says, taking that brandy up to his mouth. <laughs> yeah, mm. That is nice. Yeah. Napoleon. Ah, yeah, I've done it before. Very nice. Napoleon is a friend. He was a French guy, French right? French guy, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was a general or something. General, like yeah. yeah. Napoleon. Yeah. One eye. Yeah. That's yeah. done. Yeah. I've had that patch up. <laughs> I tell people, you know, because I've got, I was born with a long eyelid, yeah. Yeah. You know, this eye. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. When I'm in, especially when I'm tired, it comes right down nearly. Mm. But I don't, I don't know about it. But yeah, but I was born with a long, one of the eyelids was long, too long. Three operations I had, cut bits off. Mm. But it's still, it's just a lazy eyelid, they call it. Just lazy eye. That's what they call it, a lazy eye, yeah, mm. an eyelid. But I used to tell people I had a glass eye. <laughs> Serious? Oh, you're going to see this, what I can do. Watch me right now. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it strange, that? <laughs> it's like I can turn my eye in, yeah. get my eye in. But I can't see nothing. <laughs> you can't see nothing? Yeah. Well, when I do that, yeah. I can't see nothing. But it, all you can see is the white spot. It's the white spot, yeah. yeah. Uh, I said, you want me to pull it out? <laughs> and like, no! Nah. <laughs> That's my party trick. <laughs> a party trick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what would you like to do in your spare time? Um, drink. <laughs> drink. Drink, yeah. Because that's all I do, thinking about it. Mm. Do you drink 24-7? Yeah, if I could. But I keep falling asleep. <laughs> Every 16 hours I fall asleep. <laughs> it's best to know it. Sorry. Yeah, dear. <laughs> dear. <laughs> you know, I should take I should take you to the gym one day because I see you every morning when I go to the gym. Hear me. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't mind I, being a bit big. I see I it. the size of you, man. I think you are on your biceps. I bet you as big as my waist. Yeah, I might think about it. <laughs> Serious, I'm like, I'm a deal with Yeah. 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 Oh. But, oh, I have a problem. Oh, you can't, can't, yeah. I can't. You can't, you can't, you can't yeah. Whoa, can't you do can't. that. Oops. Can't do that with that hand. Mm. That's all I can do. It's not like that. Shit happens. Shit happen. If you got any advice, if you got any advice to give, to tell someone about drinking, I'd tell them, don't drink. It's bad for your health. Mm. Look at me! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's wrong with you. <laughs> you let see me when I'm fish. <laughs> You have to carry me all. <laughs> and someone has to carry me stick. Yeah. Don't forget me stick. <laughs> and I've been like that for a while. Where's your stick? You got. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's. I've got a dodgy hip. I need a new hip. Mm. I need a hip replacement. I've been waiting for 40... about 44 years. 44 years to have a new, well, no, nah, that's lying, that's all my life. Mm, since I'm about 12-ish, that's 
when I started getting pain in me hip. This leg, apparently, is an inch and a half shorter than this one. Mm. Looks like it as well. Fuck, <laughs> I can put that down. Dear me. Only meant to be an inch and a half. That's half a mile. <laughs> Can I have another one of these, please? Yeah. I'm glad it's plastic, that bottle. I can't I have to grab it in my legs. It's like an old... No, I better not, because I can't hold, I can't grip. You don't mix? No, I like a different sort of cork. I've been dead to say that for ages. It's a very old joke, that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you uh, get drunk a lot? No, not really. Mm. Funny enough. No, I don't know. No. Even though I drink every day, I might be getting immune. <laughs> Do you think you get um, your body get get used to it? Mm, yeah. Because it does. It makes you sweat a lot as well. Mm. Mm. Have you got a partner? No. No. Well, that's a shame. Mm. I've seen millions what I wouldn't mind with doing. <laughs> and being back <better> with. A <laughs> 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 time behave. <laughs> Keep forgetting that one. So. Let me see, is the mic still on? Yeah, it should be. Oh, it's in my pocket. <laughs> Get it out. Let me see if the light is still on. Is the light on it? No. Let me see it. There's a light. No, there's no light. There's no light on there. We must start over again. Hold it. <laughs> I might, I need to put a battery on. Thank you very much for watching Neil's story. We're now going to talk a little bit about it. Please do not forget to subscribe if you have enjoyed it. Thank you. So, Neil. So Neil, um, so Neil has a good, good relationship with all his siblings. Oh yeah, he does. He gets on, he gets on well with them, talks to them, sees them regularly. Yeah. Like he's got that support system around him. Um, the only thing as far as like his family life, he's lost both his parents. Oh, yeah. And then he also lost his elder brother to a car accident. Well, they got run over. By the tram. Oh, by a tram? Yeah. Oh shit, I missed that. I told you those scary things. Okay, so he lost his, um, he lost his older brother, his older brother got run over. That, that must, that's a lot to deal with. That's, that's hard. It is hard. Especially losing him like that in traumatic circumstances. Like that's not something that he's ever going to get over, is it? No. But, uh, but at the moment, it doesn't even look like anything he's really dealing with, is it? And it's difficult because Neil used to work. He worked... He used to be a butcher. Yeah. And it was his older brother that had got him into that. He went the job, yeah. Yeah. So do you think... I don't know. I was just wondering if maybe that's another reason why he doesn't work anymore. Yeah, his foot is drinking. Yeah. So he's been drinking since he was 14. That's too young to be drinking. That's too young to be drinking. Mm. Well, you don't agree with me? It, yeah, no, it is. I just don't think it's uncommon. 14 years old? 
Drink. Drink. Huh? I don't think it's uncommon. Wow. I don't know. What age do you start drinking? 13, 14. 13? Wow. <laughs> You're a veteran. <laughs> I don't know, I just don't think it's that. I don't think it's uncommon. I mean, even legally, I think if you go out for like a meal with your parents, Aren't you allowed to No, get... you're not. Legally, you're not. I think you are. Legally, you're not allowed to drink. I think you're allowed one drink. No. I totally, I totally disagree. I'll research that after. <laughs> but I would agree with you, 14 is young. I just don't think it's uncommon, is what I said. Drinking every day at 14 years old. Well, okay, that bit's uncommon. But I think, having, I think trying alcohol at 14... Well, how do you think they keep up in school? Which, what, if they're drinking every day? Yeah. You can't, it's impossible. Surely. Oh, he manages somehow. Mm -hmm. But then he's grown up around that sort of lifestyle, hasn't he? Yeah. Like his dad drank every day. He's not seen as a problem. I genuinely think even now he doesn't see it as a problem. And there were four of them. Mm. So if you don't think about it, you can't notice. You can't, yeah. If you don't think about it, you can't notice it's a problem. So in order to get by, because Neil is homeless, mm. he has turned to begging. He started that two years ago when he was unable to have, get food. And he, he says himself how much he hates doing it. I just... He's doing it to buy food. Mm. It just seems such a shame in like this day and age that that's the resort some people having to go to to get food. It's a shame. People are starving. I don't see how. I don't, I don't see how. Well, it's not fair, is it? No. I think the government needs to do more. But then would you argue that maybe people like Neil need to do more to help themselves? I don't know. Well, elaborate. How, how, do you want, how do you want Neil to help himself? No, I didn't, I didn't mean Neil specifically. Yeah. But I'm just saying. Yeah, but let's just take, let's just take the case of Neil. Mm-hmm. How would you want Neil to... I would want him to help himself by treating his disease. Because without doing that, it's just a vicious cycle. And I'm not saying anyone should go hungry. I am not saying that at all. But you can't carry on, carry on, carry on trying to fix people's problems for them when they're not this helping them. Like, you could you could set Neil up with, not you specifically, but, like, the government could set Neil up with a house, a job, and he would lose everything again because of the drink. And you... what? I'm, it's difficult. You can't keep repeatedly, like, patch over something without dealing with the actual problem. Is, is it illness? That's what I'm saying. It's illness. It's like, he need all the help, all the support, mm -hmm. regardless, it's not... But you he's can't not, keep giving it and giving it and giving it to him if he's not willing to try a little bit himself. But he's not losing it because he wants to lose it. No. So, but equally, he's not trying. Well, how can someone try if he can't notice that he's he got a problem? I don't know, but all I'm saying is you can't continuously throw... So... It's like trying to put out a fire with a watering can. You're going to help a little bit, but you're never going to actually stop it. You never gonna. But what do you think? Should they just leave them? No, I'm not saying that. I just think that just continuously, like giving people food or stuff like that. Like food obviously is they need the it. Human base, basic. Yeah, I'm not saying that, but more could be done to tackle the root of the problem. Because without that, is that addiction? Yeah, because without that, you're gonna continuously just be trying to patch things up without. No, but someone like Neil drink 24-7. Mm. He should be in a hospital. He wouldn't want to be, though. He wouldn't want to go to a hospital. 
do you think he should have the say to go to hospital or not? Because if you're going to say it's illness... Well, you're saying it's a basic right to have food. Yeah. It's also a basic right for him to decide where he wants to be. It's inhumane to look... When he's not committed a crime, to yeah, lock him up. Commi- yeah, but he's a patient. Without- but he's a patient. Okay. But without him wanting it, I don't think it would work. Yeah, but look, if he's a patient, want- like, cool. If we say he's a patient, mm-hmm. if his addiction is a illness, right? Yeah. Don't you think they should be in a hospital? Yeah. Okay. Or they should be receiving treatment. Get receiving treatment, mm-hmm. yeah. Do you think they should have the say what type of treatment they get? Technically, yes and no. No, no, no. I think no. Yeah, yeah. listen. Yes listen. No? Okay, I'm listening. I think no because he needs the treatment. He's got an addiction. But yes, because look how many people we've spoken to that have say, let me finish, I can see, that have gone to prison and been clean in prison and come out and gone straight back to their old life because they don't want to stay clean enough. It's he needs to want it enough. It's all well and good shutting him in somewhere and making him sober. It's not about... If he doesn't want to stay... You can't keep him locked up for the rest of his life. At some point, he'd have to face the real world. And he's got to want to stay clean in that world. Yeah. In order for it to work. You didn't answer my question. What was the question? So what was he answering? I said yes or no. To do, do I think he should be hospitalised? Yeah. Was that, yeah. Yes, you I can't know. say yes or no. You have to pick one. I think he should be hospitalised if he wanted the treatment. No, but if he can't... He's drinking 24-7. Mm-hmm. He, he, he can't make that decision. Yeah. For himself. Okay, say I say yes. That's yes. your answer then. Okay. It just doesn't work. Okay, you lock him up, you, or you don't lock him up, you hospitalise him. He yeah. gets sober. Yeah. At some point, you have to put him out in the real world. And when, when he's getting sober, you tackle the problem. Yeah, okay. You, you tackle the problem, what's the root of it? Yeah. And you start releasing him slowly to the community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't just... That's what the prison messed up. They just... It ends, yeah. That's different, because they, there's no aftercare after. Mm. That's how they messed up. But... If you put him in the hospital, right, get a treatment, tackling the problem. Yeah, that might work. And start releasing him slowly. You can't just you can't just let him like that. Yeah. You have to like one day out, you know, just introduce him back to society slowly. I personally I think that will work. I think that could work. I think he's still got to want it. Yeah. Well, not in they need to. He needs to acknowledge that he's got a problem. Mm-hmm. That's where he start. Yeah. I'd vote for you if you run for Prime Minister. <laughs> Not for myself. <laughs> I would have been both for myself. <laughs> Seriously, I reckon if you start, maybe you should start a, like, a political party. Oh, well, good luck with that. <laughs> I would get somewhere. Um, but I think you're right is in Neil is in a lot of denial is in I don't think he's in denial I think he's not conscious about it it's, I don't think he's denial he, do, he never thought about it he never sat down and think about it mm. you know he said it himself mm. I know you're trying to disagree go for it <laughs> I don't know, that just sounds like denial to me. What sounds like denial? Because he's avoiding it completely, he's avoiding even sitting down thinking about it. Cool. Because if you think about it, he doesn't want to open the Pandora box. There's things, there's a reason why he's drinking. Yeah. You know? But he doesn't. We... He doesn't want to deal with the real issues. No, which is like the denial, he's avoiding it. I don't think he's avoided, I think he's not ready for it. It's still denial though. I think he's not ready to go through that trauma again. He's not ready to go through is it? But without going through it, he'll never heal. He needs to work through everything. Yeah, but he made his decision, he doesn't want to think about it. He doesn't want to think about reality. And 
nous grand force et non. on a fait mes gangs Russian good luck I hope he gets the help. I hope that he realizes before. Re yeah. I hope he realizes before it's too late. That's it. It needs to hit him, doesn't it? What? Yeah. What he's losing? Like it's not too late for him to rebuild a relationship with his daughter. But it's not too late. It's not too late. He doesn't even. He doesn't even. That's what he doesn't even know if he had the kids or not. That's that's. That's the addiction eating him. Alive. Addiction is so powerful. So powerful. These people don't get up in the morning and choose to sit in the corner and beg for money. No one does that. You know, no one, no one does it. So if it's powerful, and people need to tackle the right way. Mm -hmm. People need to understand people it. People need to understand it and tackle the right way because you can't, you can't, you can't put pressure. To someone to give you up. Can't, no, you can't you make can't. someone. You, you can't. can't technically make someone, but you, you they're not going to stick it, to they it. They won't stick to it, and you know they have to do it for themselves. They can't do it for other people to please other people, because if you're in a relationship with someone, if you're doing it for them, then you if split you're up. doing it with them, split up. The first thing that you're going to do, do take what make you feel numb. Mm -hmm. And do you know what? Who can blame them? As in. No one, no one likes feeling hurt, do they? No. no. Like, I really admire the people that can sit with it. Like, if I'm feeling hurt or upset, all I want is something to distract me. Mm. Mm. Even if it's just turning on, like, mindless TV or going for a walk or anything, I don't want to sit there and feel it. I don't. No. I think people deal with... And I think a lot of people are like that. Not many not many people that say, watch this, or uh, people that aren't addicts would want to sit and feel some of the stuff that these addicts have been through. Yeah. But the way most people are seeing it, I don't want to go through, I don't want to understand their pain because they chose, they chose their lifestyle, you know? But I don't think no one chooses. No one chooses. No one goes into it. No, you don't. Knowingly, no. knowing that that's what's going to happen. The black hole is sucked you in. Mm -hmm. It does. You know. Right. Some people have no idea what the drug's going to do. Some people think they can control the drug. Yeah. You can never control the drug. Mm -mm. You can never. Or the drink. The drink, the drug, you can't control it. No. no. Some people can casually drink and, you know, I'm talking about addiction, I'm not talking yeah. about... going out on a Friday night. Yeah, yeah. going out on a Friday night. I wish you the best. Me too. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching and please do not forget to subscribe if you have enjoyed it. Thank you.